Hello and welcome to Trojan Talk. I'm your host, Aaron Taylor. They'll we'll be talking about the future of Trojan baseball as I am joined by the future head coach of the Trojan baseball team, current assistant coach, but future head coach, right. Mark Smart. Mark, thanks for joining me here today. Thanks for having me, Aaron. And uh, we recently found out that uh, the, the reins would be passed from Bobby Pierce to you. Uh, and first and foremost, just how does it feel? Well, Aaron, it's uh, obviously a very proud moment for me as a former player here, uh, assistant coach now for the 13th year. Very proud day for me and my family. It means a lot to me to wear our uniform. Uh, the fact that I was able to play for Coach Riddle and now be mentioned in the same sentence as a head coach means a great deal to me personally. You did play here at Troy, and so and you mentioned that, and you were a member of a championship <coughs> team, two of those championship teams. Right. So obviously – it's got to feel good to to be able to bring, I guess, that, that championship tradition and, and and your personal history and your personal, you know, experience with this program into the head coaching position. Well, I was very fortunate as a player. Um, prior to, to my time at Troy, um, the, the baseball program was having great success. Had been to the World Series four years in a row, but had not been able to get over that hump and win that tournament. And then my first year, my junior year, 1986, uh, we were able to capture that crown. And it was a special moment for all of us because we knew the long journey that all the former players and the guys that were on the team the, the last couple of years had gone through. And to see the, the pride that Coach Riddle had when we won that championship in 1986 right there in Montgomery at Patterson Field, uh, as a player, it really made you feel, feel special because he had – labored so long and hard to build the program and it had national respect and then to win that first championship was 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 awesome and then lo and behold the next year we did it again and uh kind of became you know who we were uh, those two years those teams were uh 82 and 18 over that two-year span mm -hmm. and uh testament to the level of play and the level of coaching but more importantly uh all the the tradition kind of finally got put into place where the championship w was won. So many people played a role in that. So to be a part of those two teams is certainly something that carries me every day, something I'm very proud of, something I've tried to uh, instill in my coaching process that uh, you got to keep building and working towards something special. Uh, but winning championships is no easy thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I hope that when I do have the opportunity to be the head coach, I can take some of that experience and relay that to our players and our coaches and uh, lead us down that path of potential championships in the future. And now uh, you've had a long working relationship with Bobby Pierce and uh, going on 13 years now. But uh, the head coach that uh, I've probably you had the most, I guess, emotions towards would be Chase Riddle, who Certainly. coached you. And everyone knows he's an icon in Trojan athletics. But what does it mean to you personally to be able to step into his shoes? Quite right. honestly, Aaron, it's, it's, uh, it's almost a dawning thought for me. Um, I have uh, Coach Riddle is in the highest possible regard you can hold any man. Uh, other than my own father, he had the most impact on me personally as a young adult and even into my adult years. Uh, named my son Chase, certainly after him. So that's the impact that he had. So to, to lead the program much like he did is a daunting thought for me, but uh, something that's very special, uh, certainly. Um, Coach Pierce is very similar that, to Coach Riddle in a lot of respects there and the way he treats people, uh, the type of coach he is. The players absolutely love playing for him. I'm going to have big shoes to fill. There's no question about that. Uh, but the experience that I've gained working with Coach Pierce for 13 years now, the lesson I learned from the legendary coach, Chase Riddle, I hope to be able to put those into place and we can continue to have the type of success that our program so richly deserves. And of course, uh, one of the, the added elements to your, your first year as head coach is that uh, you'll get a chance to uh, coach uh, your son as he's joining the program. Uh, how is that going to make things, I guess, extra special for you? Well, you know, Aaron, the, I say that the most important thing is I get to see him play more. Uh, <laughs> I, I do miss a lot of his games now because mm -hmm. of our schedule. And fortunately, uh, I'll be at every one of his games in college. So that, that's the best part. 
There'll be some bumps and bruises along the way. Father, son, coach, player, will, he'll be treated like any other player. Uh, but it's going to be a special thing. And, and, and what, what I'm so proud of is, is he's a terrific player. He's a wonderful kid. But he's going to wear the same uniform I did. And that's an important thing for me as his father to be able for him to want to play at Troy. And then the timing of me taking over as the head coach, that makes it a little more special. But uh, uh, he'll be one of us. He'll be a Trojan just like, uh, just like I was, and that's a very special feeling. Well, uh, here's hoping that the rest of the Trojan Nation gets that special feeling when you uh, take the reins starting next season. I want to thank you for joining me today, and uh, good luck in the transition to head coach. Aaron, thanks for having me. And thank you. And thank you for joining us on today's edition of Trojan Talk.